sponsored by flip narrative and remember if you don't love your story flip what's good y'all so today i'm going to be sharing some sales with you guys from ebay and all of the items in today's video is just going to be strictly shoes and boots and instead of just sharing some of the typical like jordans and like other nike sneakers that everybody knows about i'm going to be sharing some brands that are lesser known and some of the brands that people typically walk right past whenever they're in thrift stores so if you guys haven't already hit that like button subscribe to the channel and without further ado Let's get into it. Alright y'all, so first up is a brand that I absolutely love and this brand is called The Couples. Now, I barely ever find this brand, maybe once or twice a month if I'm lucky. And I actually picked up this pair of boots and I thought they were going to be my size. And unfortunately, they were a little too big for me. So I went ahead and I listed them on eBay. And checking the comps, the comps were kind of tricky and I definitely regret selling these for as cheap as I did. But I decided to still throw it up in the video because I think just by learning the brand, you guys could be able to just make a little more money on these than I did. So this is a pair of Jodhpur boots and when you type in Jodhpur, that's the style of the boots with the straps. Um, some people might get confused with Chelsea boots but these are definitely just known as Jodhpur boots. And to put these on eBay for 60 bucks, and they sold literally within I think 2 or 3 days. So for that reason I think I probably could have listed them for maybe 70 maybe even 80 bucks. They wasn't in the best condition but I still decided to just put them up for that price. And I only got these for 6 bucks. This was like an insane steal because usually anytime I'm in Goodwill they price their shoes and boots pretty expensive. But like I said these definitely wasn't in the best shape so I did have to clean these up a little bit. And for that reason I got 60 bucks. So next up we got a pair of Nike SB sneakers and these are actually called the Danny Supers. Now I'm not like a big like SB head at all but when I seen these I definitely knew they were going to be worth something mainly because they were back from 2006. Now they were in decent condition. I had them sitting in my garage for quite a while before I actually went ahead and listed these and I cleaned them up to the best of my ability. I didn't want to clean them up too much to the point where you know I may have damaged the suede or even cracked the leather. So I just used some rubbing alcohol and an eraser, one of those white erasers that kind of do really well with uh, erasing scuff marks. And I was able to clean these up pretty well. Um, I listed these for I think $1.99, got a best offer of $1.50. And they were sat on my store for maybe two or three weeks and I just went ahead and accepted that offer for $1.50 because these shoes, I literally purchased these shoes for $4. So $4 shoes, turning that into $1.50. And I think the buyer sent me that offer for $1.50, that way they can still get verified. But like I said, I used Usually would go back and forth and sometimes you know counter offer back and forth but lately I've just been accepting offers as long as they're a decent amount especially since you guys know eBay sales aren't as strong as they used to be especially in Q1 so I just decided to accept that sale and overall very happy with that sale since I made a decent amount of profit but like I said before I'm not really big into SBs I know they're super popular right now so if you guys can come across any SBs even if they're in really really rough shape still go ahead and list them because people are restoring shoes and bringing them back to life and if they can get their hands on some original SBs you can still make a decent amount of profit so make sure you guys be on the lookout for those. Next up let's get back to the boots and this is a pair of Belleville boots and Belleville boots um, kind of like I guess you can call these more like army inspired um, these are actually steel toe though and these steel toe boots brought in 70 bucks plus 12 dollars shipping I think I spent 12 bucks on these boots they were in really really good shape and I'm not sure if they were actually like brand new or if they were slightly used I'll make sure I throw a picture of the bottom of these so that you guys can check that out because these were in really really good shape and usually Belleville boots the, the price point on some of these kind of fluctuate sometimes I'll sell them for as low as like 40 bucks and as high as like a hundred it just depends on the model and the condition for the condition on these I was able to get 70 bucks plus 12 dollars shipping so definitely happy with this and especially like I said the condition was really really good and they were steel toe so I think that's what kind of um, increased the value on these overall but Belleville boots sometimes I'll come across them and they might be suede sometimes they may be a little dirty a little dusty and for that reason I'll usually pass but if I can find them in this condition I'll always grab them up switching things back to the sneakers I picked up a pair of these Kobe mentalities and these were in really really good condition especially for that Iron Man colorway um, I checked the comps on these and the comps were kind of all over the place once again I've seen some people sell them for as low as 50 bucks some people as high as 120 150 especially if they had the original box unfortunately I didn't have the original box but as you guys can see the condition on these were really really good so of course I still grabbed these up I think I spent 10 bucks on these and I didn't have to clean these up as 
at all just took some really good pictures and these sold within about two weeks so definitely be on the lookout for some of these Kobe's that's in really good condition unfortunately when Kobe first passed some of his shoes were selling for a ton of money and of course some of them they, they still skyrocketed in value but overall some shoes like these they're still selling for right around 100 to 120 bucks and I was able to get that for these shoes so RIP Kobe. Next up we got a pair of ski boots and I believe the brand on these is Rossinol. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I'm sure somebody will drop that in the comment section for me. But these ski boots were in really, really good shape. Was able to get 70 bucks plus shipping as well for these shoes. And that's right around like my average sale price in terms of shoes. These past few months, maybe the past three to four months, I've been passing on a lot of stuff, especially if it doesn't bring in a good amount of profit. Um, usually I used to grab up just about any and everything that could sell for at least 30 and up. But lately I've been just really paying attention to my margins, paying closer attention to the cost of shipping and as you guys know gas prices have shot up so I'm really just like considering all of those things when I'm picking up certain items so most of the time I'm trying to sell shoes in particular for at least 50 bucks and this pair of boots uh, fit that model perfectly. Next up with another pair of sneakers this is another brand that I love picking up and not a lot of people know about these uh, this brand is called On Cloud and anytime I find them I usually always sell these for at least 50 bucks depending on the condition. Um, these are a pair of running shoes and I think they kind of blew up in terms of popularity um, during the pandemic a lot of people started like wearing these more and I believe their stock price went up as well during that time so if you guys find these as long as they're in good condition always price them for at least 50 bucks um, as long as they're not too beat up you can get at least 50 these sold for 60 plus uh, nine dollars and fifty cents in shipping and like I said on cloud is one of those brands that I knew about for a while but it's definitely grown a lot in terms of popularity over the past couple of years so definitely be on the lookout for on cloud shoes and if you guys got these in a size like 11 in like a triple black colorway definitely hit me up in the comment section because I'm trying to add a pair of these to the collection as well. Next up we got a pair of Brooks running shoes and I know Brooks is definitely one of those like well-known shoes but for me anytime I find this particular model it always brings in a little more profit that's why I decided to just add this one to the video and this one in particular is the Ghost 13 and I was able to get these uh, for 70 bucks uh, plus $9.50 shipping and I think I spent like seven or eight bucks for these uh, when I got these these definitely wasn't in the best of shape um, overall they were pretty pretty good but they did have some dirt on them so I tell you guys all the time I literally just throw my shoes in the washing in the washing machine and these cleaned up really really nicely and these after listing them I think they took maybe two weeks for these to sell so really quick turnaround with the ghost 13 um, there's a couple other models that I tend to pick up if, they, if I can find them in good shape but for the most part anytime I pick up Brooks running shoes they have to be in good shape only because the, the market is pretty flooded on them so basically they have to be in really good shape and they have to be a particular model and the Ghost 13 is definitely one of my favorites to sell. And next up is a pair of Adidas Terex hikers and these when I seen these these were in my size but for some reason these shoes just run really really big so I decided to go ahead and list these as well and these sold for 80 bucks plus 12 dollars shipping and they sold within about three hours after listing them so definitely listed them way too cheap I probably should have listed them for maybe even a hundred bucks maybe even 110 because I did see other people have theirs listed a lot higher but theirs were brand new and I think I was the only person with this size that was pre-owned so for that reason I probably should have raised the price just a little bit but it is what it is um, if you guys come across any Adidas shoes that has boost I usually would grab them up as long as they're in good condition but like I said, there's always a caveat when it comes to picking up running shoes. Some Boost model sells better than others, and this one in particular just brought in 80 bucks. But like I said, probably could have got a little bit more for these, so just make sure that you guys learn from my mistakes. Next up, keeping things a little simple, picked up a pair of Jordan 1s, and I actually spent like 30 bucks on these. But as you guys can see, Jordan 1s, everybody knows Jordan 1s are super popular. So to get these in Goodwill for only 30 bucks, to me that was a really good deal because I've seen Goodwill price some of their Jordans for as high as like 200 bucks before so I grabbed these up did have to clean them up a little bit the soles were definitely kind of dirty um, underneath the shoe was still dirty as well and I didn't even bother about cleaning that up um, I ended up getting 170 for these um, free shipping um, I'm trying to make sure I always charge shipping but for these I did price these almost at the top of the market especially considering the condition and the fact that I didn't have the original box um, anytime I sell Jordan ones I always get those types of questions people always ask me um, do I have the original box and stuff like that 
and of course if I get it from Goodwill more than likely I'm not gonna have the box but was still able to get 170 for these so still made a decent amount of profit um, Jordan ones almost any colorway will still sell for a decent amount of profit um, Jordan one mids maybe not as much but for me if I can find a pair of highs I'll always grab these up and once again these were my size but you guys know I just need to get that cash right now all right y'all that's all I have for today's video so make sure that you guys drop in the comment section let me know which one of these shoes was your favorite one let me know if you guys learned any new brands or anything new from this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!